The fourth phase of the architect's work with a client is called construction documents. It's then that the architect creates a record set of documents that include specifications and dimensional drawings used by the contractor to build the building. Although traditional looking, the Winslow House in River Forest, Illinois, designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, was unconventional for the time. The house features large overhangs, a distinctive polychromatic facade, overscaled moldings, and terracotta tile. Architects follow rules. One rule of thumb is that a closet for hanging clothes should be a minimum of 24 inches in depth in order to accommodate a closet rod, shelf above, and clothing hangers, which are 16 to 18 inches wide. Burnham and Root designed the Reliance Building in Chicago, completed in 1895. It's the first building of its kind to hang a thin skin made of terracotta and glass from a steel framework. This mode of construction is called curtain wall. A typical residential door in the U.S. is 80 inches tall. Exterior doors should be 36 inches wide. Bathroom doors are typically 28 to 30 inches, and bedroom doors can be 30 to 32 inches wide or more. The Kimball Art Museum in Fort Worth, Texas was designed by Louis Kahn. The repetitive barrel vault design is unique. The vaults utilize minimal structure and incorporate long skylights at their apex along the length. Half the length of the base of the Great Pyramid is 220 cubits. The height is 280 cubits. That means the hypotenuse is 356 cubits. The proportions of the Great Pyramid equal the golden ratio.